everyone, this is Rebecca Jane from Yoga with Rebecca Jane and today we're going to be doing a, a fat burning class for weight loss and so lots of different movements. Uh, we will be using weights, uh, very low weights. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. You don't need weights or if you don't like to use weights for various reasons, you don't need it. Um, we'll just, all you do is pretend. Um, if you don't own weights, you can get little cans of beans or something like that to use. Um, and we'll be using a strap today. So any kind of scarf that you have, you don't need to have a special strap or a belt. And then a towel, which just can be used for both, the strap and, uh, and the um, whatever we're going to be doing with it. I'm going to be doing some hand work as well. Okay, so here we go. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's begin with um, doing some of our breathing. What we're going to be doing, the breath today, is where we breathe in. So our belly uh, expands. We're going to hold the breath for a few for a few counts and then exhale and pull the belly in. Any kind of blood pressure that's not being um, cared for, you're not taking medicine for uh, or treated for, then don't do the holding of the breath. But you, for otherwise, if you have you you know you can do it. I think everybody can do that. Okay, so take a breath in. Let's just do a few little arm movements up just to get our bodies nice and warm. Lower down as you exhale. Let's get the breath heated up. Let's heat up our bodies, but get the breath deep. One more time, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Let's take the hands, place them on your belly. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold the breath, and then exhale. Exhale through the mouth. If you feel dizzy, you might feel a little dizzy. Um, maybe not, don't hold the breath, but try it a few times. Inhaling, expanding the breath, holding, and then exhaling. Inhaling, and exhaling. One more time, inhale, hold, hold, hold at the top, and exhale. Okay, we're going to continuously move, so we can, the idea of burning our, burning fat. Okay, reach the arms up. Exhale, open the arms out to the side. Working our arms, bringing the arms forward. Take an inhale, lift up. I'll get the breathing in a second. Inhale up, exhale the arms down. Inhale, lift the arms forward. And then exhale, arms up. Inhale, arms out. Just follow my breathing. Inhale. Because we're doing a three, so we have to, it won't be as even. Uh, exhale, forward, inhale up. Exhale, open. Inhale, arms towards each other. Exhale, lift the arms up. Inhale, open the arms. Let's let the arms settle them down. Let the hands float on your thighs just for a moment. Let's do some opposite rolls of the shoulders back. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale it. So the breath is one of the things that helps with burning fat. You're getting the breath during the di diaphragmatic breathing. Uh, not only relaxes your nervous system, but it boosts uh, metabolism. Um, it just gets your body into a different state um, so that you can move quicker, move more fluidly. Okay, so now we're going to take our right arm out to the side. We're going to turn an imaginary knob. As you do this, twist your whole arm, including the shoulder, and then turn it back. Right hand down, left arm out. Turn that imaginary knob with the shoulder and then turn, open up, as if you're opening up a door, and then down. We're going to do the other side, turn, and back. I'm doing it, I, we want to go turn forward and back. <laughs> forward, the teacher does mess up every once in a while. <laughs> and then left, 
And let's just keep going from side to side. Turn forward first and then back. Left, forward, inhale and back. Forward and back. And so you're, not, you're getting a nice uh, side, um, a, a waist stretch. Then let's take one more, one more set. At any point you can take a little break, but continue the breathing even though you're sitting. Keep the, the, the tummy breath moving, hands on the thighs, okay? So now what I want you to do is I want you all to spin around what, and you'll see what I'll look. You're going to bring your hands back as if you're scooting your chest between your hands. This is a cobra in yoga. And then push your hands forward and round the spine. So this is a, so we're doing cat and cows for the, bringing the hands in towards your sides, so they're in your, your sides, little hands, the hands are next to your chest, and then push forward and back. And we're going to go a little quick here. Now, if this is too fast, slow down. If this, your arms get tired, just put your hands on your thighs. Just continue moving forward. And So the breath movement here is inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, Exhale back. Inhale for tummy work here, tummy burning. We love to burn the, the fat around our tummies, right? That, that builds up from just lifestyle, eating, sitting, uh, our hormones, right? Inhale forward. I know your hands are probably, arms are probably feeling something. So put your hands on your thighs. Some of us will be able to do this a little bit longer. Some of us need to continue moving, but just place the hands on the thighs. One, one time, we're going to reach for it, we're going to hold this, and just shake it out and come up nice and tall and take a pause here, sitting up tall. Just shake those hands out, shake the hands up. So the, not just the hands, try and get the whole arm, the, the arms involved, and float the arms back, lift up and then back. So we're going to do this up and then float back. Inhale and then exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. Leaning back, inhale, lift up, exhale back. This time inhale up and then lean all the way down and swing the arms back behind you. Then inhale up. Exhale, float the arms back. Inhale up. Exhale back. So you're leaning, laying on your thighs. Lift the arms behind you. Inhale up. Exhale. This can always be done standing too, but we're doing this sitting for the time being. Now you can go the slower, my pace, or you can choose to go faster. And you can go faster as inhale up and exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. And you're exhaling through your mouth. Inhale up, exhale, shh. One more time, inhale up, and then hands to thighs. Let's take a few breaths. You might have gotten your heart rate up a little bit more. Inhaling, and exhaling, and inhale, and exhale. Let's come into a forward bend. Take a pause here just to stretch out the spine and the arms. Some of us sit on the chair. Some of us might decide you want to lift your bottom off the chair and fold over. Little sways from side to side. Let's shake your head no, shake your head yes. And then find the seat. Make sure your bottom touches the seat. If you're off of it, come back up. Okay, so now we're going to take the weights or no weights, you decide what you want to do. Uh, we're going to take, so I'm going to show you from here, it's going, to, it's going to look like you're punching, okay? Sit up nice and tall, use, and you're going to take the one weight for, so the right arm forward, but keep the arm bent, and a, as if you're punching something, so you're actually punching. So you can do this without weights, yeah? This is actually quite fun. So we're doing, a, even though it's yoga, we are doing a little boxing. So you're going to, you're going to um, bring your arm forward, 
reach it forward, but just keep a bend, slight bend to it. So inhale, forward, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, exhale back. You can go slower than me, half the speed, the same speed, or you can go fast, and I'm going to go faster, but you can do it much slower. You can also reach further forward, okay? If you go fast, you want to, you could keep the arms very, almost, um, keep them bent, but if you want to go a little bit fast or slower, but reach the arms out, alternate. So there's different options here. So let's, let's get our heart rate up, breathe in, and up. And now you work, you can feel your waist actually whittling away, right? This is a good one. I like this one. Woo! If you're not feeling this, and then lower the hands down. Let's just take our shoulders, lift up. As you do this, take your bring, uh, come onto your toes as well. Warm up those toes. Inhale, lift and lower. So it's hard to keep, especially if we're at home a lot, for various reasons. We have to keep ourselves fit. So lift up and then take the shoulders forward, inhale up and fall. Come onto the toes as well. Incorporate the lower part of your body and then let's come back up. So now what we're going to do is you're going to take your right arm forward, weight or not weight, and just turn the, um, the weight down so your palm's facing down. So if you're doing it with your hand, your, the, your fist of your Hand, the thumb is reaching up, and then you're going to turn the thumb to the left. If that makes sense. So we're just we're working, and then bring the hand in forward, dip down, come back to neutral, reach down to neutral, <laughs> reach down to neutral. Now we're going to just do the opposite. Open out to the right, open the palm up, down, lift up. Open the palm, now the palm's up, down, so working a different part of your wrist, forearm, shoulder, down, one more, just one more side, left, open, and down, and then release. Take the, we'll come back to those in a moment, but that's, we'll do a few little inhales up, and then sweep back, just to loosen up the arms, inhale up, exhale, inhale up. Exhale, inhale up, and bring the hands onto your thighs and just shake it out. Okay, now we're going to be concentrating on our, um, our tummy muscles, our bottom muscles, our thigh muscles, anything be below, everything below the uh, chest. So we're, uh, we're going to lean forward. Now, make sure your bottoms, your Stable enough to pick yourself off the chair, lift up. Now, if you don't feel safe doing that, just keep your bottom on the chair and just lift forward and then come back, okay? So inhale forward, lift up. You can have your hands on your thighs or forward in front of you. Forward's a little bit more extra, gives you a little extra, but you have to balance and then lower down. So you, some of you will have your bottom, you'll keep that bottom on the chair. I'll do one set with the bottom down, so you can see what that looks like, yeah? Otherwise, inhale, just lift up, and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now you can go slower than me, my speed, or you can go faster. You can go a little bit higher and lower down. You can come up about halfway and lower down. So that might be a lot for some of you. Some of you, this might be perfectly fine. Lift up and lower down. One more time, inhale, lift, and then come all the way up, or just sit up. Sit on the, stay on the chair, but sit up tall. Everyone's going to lower down, forward bend. So that might be that you come back to the chair and you lower yourself. Take a pause here, but keep your breath moving all the time. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling 
and exhaling. And now from here, bending the knees, whether you're sitting on the chair or not, I want you to roll up. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Let yourself unfurl like a, like a fern when they, they're opening up their leaves. And then reach your arms back and then inhaling, curling forward, roll back down. So this is a tummy toner, back strengthener, roll up, leg strengthener. It's an everything that you get out of this one. Okay, so options. You can go very, very slow. You can go my speed or you can go faster. Faster, you burn, you go, you get the heart rate up a little bit more. And you can do this sitting. I'm going to go a little faster, lower down. So those that want to go a little bit and then lift up and then down. And again, sitting, the same thing. Up, just show you what the option is for sitting. Yep. Stay in your, you can always do everything in your chair. Just make sure that you keep make sure that none of your props are in, in your in a way in the way of anything so you don't trip. Okay, let's just shake our left leg out. You can always I'm going to turn the chair around to show you the support you can get from the chair. So shake out one leg, shake out the other. So this reminds me of how dogs, you know, how they, they like to shake their legs. <laughs> this reminds me, you don't have to hold on to your chair. Now we're just shaking, 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 shaking. So some of us will do a shake, a shake, and some of us will go a little faster, yeah? Some of us will go really fast. Three levels, slow, Medium, very fast. And your hands are near your chest. So that it's a little bit like a, a, a kickboxing class. This is what reminds me of. Okay, and then come on down. Let's just shake it out. And then let's just bring the arms and flip them back. Now take the arms, flip them back, but now you're, you're standing or sitting. We're not going all the way down to the ground. Coming onto the heels, keeping the toes on the ground as you, when you lift up, your arms up to the sky, lift on your toes and then lower the heels down, lift up and then flip the arms back. You can do this on the back of the chair, yeah, one arm, opposite, you can alternate, or you do double. So, different speeds, slow, fast, or medium, <laughs> or fast. And finish, and then shake it out. Okay, let's do a downward dog. The downward dog version standing is place your hands on the back of the chair, sit back. Every, whoever can do that, stay there. Just want to show you the version for the seated version is where your feet are. If those are the people that cannot, for whatever reason, get off the chair. So you can come into this version where your feet are on, you're on your heels and your hands are reaching forward. That's when I say downward dog in the chair version, that's that. So this is the middle version. The other one would be to put the hands on the lower part of the chair, the seat. That's a little bit more uh, of a challenge. So take a breath in. And then we're going to walk forward. Reach the arms up. And you can do this sitting. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Step back. So those on the chair are bringing their legs in front again with the heels on the ground. 
just like I showed you. And then you're going to bring your feet forward or bring your feet back in. Inhale, reach the arms up. We're going to go either that pace or faster. Step back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. This is fat burning, weight loss. Inhale, up. People on the seat, you're doing the same thing. That are sitting on the seat. Inhale, reach. And one more time, press back. Take a pause. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing and breathe out. Okay, now, either with weights or not with weights, weights only up two pounds, you might want one pound. Pound, you can use one weight. If, you have, if you're pretty strong, you can use two weights. Or you take your, your towel, pretend it's a weight, okay? I'm going to use double weights for this for me, but many of you are going to, one will be just enough or use the towel or a water bottle. I keep forgetting you can actually use two water bottles, the same size water bottles. That's an easy one, right? You don't have to buy a uh, weights. Okay, you're lifting your arms up. Now you can do this sitting or standing. Okay, I'm going to do mine standing, but you can sit down. And you're going to hold on to the water bottle or the, the towel and hands are together, they're touching. And then bend, bring the, the, the uh, weights behind your head and then lift up. Now, if this doesn't work for you, you cannot lift your arms up. You can easily just bring the arms down uh, towards your pubic bone and then bend and straighten. It's just a different muscle group, but that's, you're getting muscles, you know, you're working more biceps than triceps. Okay, we're inhaling up and exhaling down. Don't flop them down. Use resistance. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now, weights, any kind of weight, any kind of resistant, like water bottles or cans of beans or weight or the hand weights, will start to, to create muscle, which will burn fat. So let's get this, these arms all ready for whatever you're getting ready for, whether it's the summer, whatever time of the year you see this, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and then lower down and just shake it out. Okay, shake it up, shake it up. Okay, now what we're going to do is with either sitting on the chair you're going, if you don't have weights, you'll, don't, you won't have anything in your hands. Those that have weights or will put the, a weight in each hand. And we're going to lean slightly forward either in the chair. So you'll sit on the chair and you'll lean forward. Or you're standing with the legs open. And you're opening up the arms just like a gorilla. This reminds me of a gorilla. Lift up. Make sure the elbows remain bent and then bring them in. Kiss the... Uh, hands together and then inhale lift. You're not coming as high, you're not even coming as high as the shoulders, just slightly below. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, pull the belly in. Inhale, as you exhale, pull the tummy in. Inhale, exhale. So where's yoga here? Yoga and weight training actually go hand in hand. They're very, you get to have the stretches, the strength, everything you need all in one. Open, close, open, close. You get tired, you take a break, but continue your breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. And one more time, inhale, open, and then close. Shake, shake, shake. Put the weights down, done. Now I didn't think about water bottles, but those are ideal because the you know, you get the kind that have the little grooves. Now, I'm not big on plastic water bottles, but if you use them for weights, that's really good. Okay. 
Let's do a few breaths. Sit down, come back onto your chair. Make sure you're not leaning back. That if you can, you try and get, make sure the spine is nice and tall. Let's do a few breaths. Hands back on your tummies. Inhale. And exhaling. Inhale. So for the next few weeks, the classes I'll be teaching will be uh, this type, similar classes, where we'll be concentrating on some weights and um, fat burning and weight loss in preparation for, um, I'm teaching this during the almost, uh, it's almost Thanksgiving and almost Christmas, so it's really getting you prepared for the Christmas season <laughs> during a very odd time. Okay, get hold of your hand towel. Just rub your hands, loosen them up. We're going to work our hands. You're starting at one end of the towel. Start at the, the, the right hand of the towel, so yeah. You're not mirroring me here. And you're going to use your top hand to stabilize and let and the bottom hand to turn and squeeze the towel. So you're squeezing out imaginary water. Work your way. Keep the towel low, because we've done a lot of arm work. You don't have to bring it high. Working on those hands, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. One of my favorites, I feel this every time I do this, squeeze, okay? Shake it out, shake it out. Now we're at the left hand. Left hand's the stabilizer hand, the hand this hand, right hand's the squeezer. So turn, turn, squeeze with that right hand. So you're using your right arm as well. Who knew what you can do with things from just your home? You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on all this equipment. And then squeeze and squeeze and then shake it out. And then take the, the, the towel and we'll do it. We did enough with our hands. I don't want to do any more today. Reach the, or it's just, you can use a, I would use the towel since you have it. Take a breath in and bring the towel back behind you. So what you're doing is you're opening up the front of your shoulders. Let your lower back arch. And then from here, let bring the arms over to the right. Stretch. Inhale back up, so we're stretching our sides now. Exhale to the left. Inhale up, and then exhale to the right. Inhale up, and then lower down. Rub the arms, shake them up. One last thing before we complete, we get we finish up the class. Take this, take the towel on your right foot. And then bring your right knee into your chest, so hug it in and then straighten that leg. Your leg might be lower than mine. Take your right heel, press it up, draw the toes towards your shins. Stretching out now the backs of your legs, your hamstrings. Keep your left foot on the ground, don't pick it up, don't have it hover, or just make sure you have, you have that left foot stable on the ground, root it down, and then release. Shake it out. Then left foot, the same thing. Just That actually works really well, hand towels. Hug your left knee into your chest, unless you have tiny hand towels. Okay. Make sure they're a little bit more substantial than the little tiny ones. And then lift your left leg up. And again, some of us, most of us tend to be not very limber. You might be. And then take your left heel up and toes down. Soften the shoulders down. And that who would think beginners and senior classes, you can do all this and more. This and more. Just to let you know if you are, do you love these classes and you start to follow me, um, this, is a great, this is a ball I use often. And it's a, it's a Pilates ball and it's only about three quarters of the way filled up. So it's very soft, it's squishy. Um, it gets blown up. It's one of these. If you ever have a question, just send me a message. Uh, you'll see on the left-hand corner of the screen, there'll be a subscribe button. Just press that button so that you can get um, 
notifications of when I, I create new, design new classes and I publish new classes, which happens several times a week. Okay, something exciting, right? And give me a thumbs up. <laughs> just press that button, do all these buttons. Let's just take a few breaths in. Let's breathe into your tummies. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. This time, inhale your arms up to the sky. You must feel really, it feels nice to move your body. Exhale, lower your arms down. And then inhale, lift up. This time, bring your hands up to, above your head together to, and let them float in front of your heart in this gesture called Anjali Mudra, which is a, is a namaste. They call them these namaste hands. Just a way to um, seal the practice, seal our yoga practice. Thank you for being with me. This is Rebecca Jane from Yoga with Rebecca Jane, and I hope to see you soon. Namaste. See you soon. Mm.